Klan member, racist, just beating up two hippies. And I guarantee you, these little thugs down on 6th Street, right by the police station, by the way, the police station's like a block away. I will get stomping the head. I guarantee you, these little thugs with their underwear hanging out and stuff, <laughs> look, just hit that guy again in the face. And, and the, uh, the uh, trendy whites, though, know not to fight back because that would be racist. I guarantee if these black guys told those white guys to slit their throats or feed their children to meat grinders, they'd do it. I mean, just look at the patheticness. And then there's these black chicks laughing at them. But, but no media will say the real headline. Six racist thugs attack brainwashed hippies. I mean, I'll be honest with you. At a primitive level, I want to go down there and find those guys. At a primitive level. I mean, I, mean, I guarantee you, folks... I guarantee you if that had been number if that had been like two two Mexicans that were down there, and I don't mean like Americanized Mexicans, but real Mexicans, all those black guys would have been stabbed in about five seconds. Just fam, 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 you're all dead. And if that had been some rednecks down there or other big black guys they tried to fight with, they'd all been dead, ladies and gentlemen. But they knew who to target, ladies and gentlemen. They knew who to target. You know, you walking along some Mexican, you go start something with them for no reason, you're dead. You're gonna get stabbed real fast. But those little thugs know that. Don't mess with a redneck. He's going to have a gun or a fight back. Don't mess with a guy wearing a John Deere cap. Don't mess with somebody that looks like they know how to know. Go find two hippies that literally think they're God. In fact, you guys call a Don Salazar, Kurt Nemo, and, and Kit Daniels in here right now. Because this is a big viral story. I meant to call them Thursday night when I first saw this video going viral that's now been seen tens of millions of times that nobody's covering because, because this, I just want to give them these directives right now on air. Bring them on in. N not with microphones. I just want to talk to them all. Come on in, gentlemen. The video is called um, Six Thugs Beat Up Two Hippies. And if you listen to the audio, they're like, hey, man, what's the problem? I, you need food? I'll give you money. And they're like, no, we're going to beat you up because you're white and tie it into all the black attacks all over the country that the media won't say are black attacks. Because, again, we've talked about the Klan when they do this or, you know, rolling gay people. We're against that. But the point is, that's not a phenomenon now because it's been culturally decried. The phenomenon of beating up white women mainly, because that's really who these cowards want to attack, or white hippies. I want to warn people with long hair walking around. And I'm not knocking you got long hair. If you talk, you attack Rob Dewey, beat the hell out of you. Not everybody with long hair is a wimp. But they know how to get the shuffling going, oh, I'm a trendy uh, I want you guys, this is going to be a viral story, it's important, to tie it into all the racial attacks that are going on. And to point out that in downtown, that's right at the end of 6th Street, right by the parking, right by the police station, I think it's like a, less than 100 yards actually, I said a block, that the police can't and won't protect you. And that's why everybody needs a concealed carry. But, but again, the fact is they're not going to mess with somebody in a sports jacket or, or a woman with a fanny pack because they know people are packing. But, I mean, you wouldn't even need to pack on those guys. I literally thought this was like Oompa Loompas. Racist black Oompa Loompas have literally, literally, from the Lollipop Guild, have now attacked. So, so who want? I mean, I want all of you to do reports on this. Or, I, mean, I mean, what do you want? who wants to take the racist angle and the media not covering it? Who wants to take the angle they can't protect you? Okay, well, you guys do whatever you want. Just hit them and hit them hard, badass. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, I just, I mean, I have got to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that this is unbelievable because they know white hippies are self-loving, hateful, Obama-supporting trendies. And, man, they're just saying, you white piece of bam, bam, beating them. And they just beg, please, my brother, I'm a trendy, I'm a liberal. They're like, that's why I'm attacking you. I mean, it is just absolutely, absolutely I love it. I mean, I just love it. I, I just, I just, I literally, I'm not looking for a fight, but watching this video, I'd have loved to broke some jaws and, 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 I mean, just, oh my God, I get hired in a kite just watching this video, thinking about what I would do. I mean, I would just, man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'll tell you some heads would have been bouncing. I'm not a basketball player, but I do bounce heads off the ground. Oh, I'm, oh yeah. Oh, it's just a bunch of, oh, yeah, the, most of these guys, a couple of them are 20, a couple of them are like 18. No, I've looked at the video. They're not, they're, not, they're not 12 years old. You know, a few of them look like they're about 5, 10, 6 foot. But, I mean, they're just, I mean, I love how they punch, too, like these big windmills. I mean, it'd be so much fun to just bam, 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 bam. And then, <laughs> yeah, I tell you, I think I'd just go right to jumping on top people, though, because that's what really gets them. Just throw yourself down on somebody, their head hits the ground, jump up, attack the next person, and then somebody would connect with my head, and then I'd really start killing people.
I mean, just taking their heads and just ramming them up against poles. I'm talking absolute crush. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should turn my guns in. I'm evil. I'm white. I apologize. Racially attack me. Attack me. I'm evil. Ladies and gentlemen, America is more dangerous than ever with 9 million property crimes last year. Crimes are happening every day. Be proactive and protect your home and family. Simply Safe Home Security System helps guard against criminals, thugs, and thieves. Listen, Simply Safe is the absolute best alarm system and company in America today. Here's why. We offer a 60-day money-back guarantee. It's affordable, no contracts to sign, and is built with the latest wireless technology. Simply Safe protects the ones you love the most, even if a criminal cuts your power and phone lines. When you order Simply Safe today, you'll receive a 10% discount along with a free keychain remote. Don't wait. This offer is only valid through February 28th. Take advantage of this special discount offer at GetSimplySafe.com. That's GetSimplySafe.com. Protect your home and family now at GetSimplySafe.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. To thank you for being a loyal listener, we have a limited time freebie offer for you. Claim your free heirloom tomato seeds, just pay shipping, right now at 123freeseeds.com. These aren't ordinary seeds. These are heirloom, non-genetically modified super seeds that are open pollinated and can be grown, harvested, and replanted endlessly. These survival seeds are actually more valuable than gold in a crisis. Go to 123freeseeds.com and you can get an airtight storage packet of 150 super seeds free while supplies last to say thank you for being a loyal listener. First come, first served. Just cover shipping. Go to 123freeseeds.com now to see if your free heirloom seeds are still available. That's 123freeseeds.com. My name is Jessica Armand. I'm an activist, a GCN listener, and mother of three. Our drinking water and food are filled with fluoride and other contaminants that harm our teeth and gums. To protect my family, I created My Magic Mud, an all-natural teeth whitening and strengthening remedy. My Magic Mud is a soft powder that polishes your teeth, reduces sensitivity, and removes harmful toxins from deep inside your mouth. You deserve a bright, healthy smile. Visit MyMagicMud.com and get yours today. That's MyMagicMud.com. You've been hearing about the amazing benefits of heart and body extract for many years. Now, hear from the co-founder. My name is Tony Knudsen, and I am the co-founder of Heart and Body Extract. We've been in business for over 13 years now. With thousands of satisfied customers who have experienced the amazing benefits but never experienced a price hike. We've kept consistent pricing the whole entire time. The company's been in business and will continue to do so. Call today for Heart and Body Extract, 866-295-5305, or visit hbextract.com. I'm going to have the guys post that video of the racial attack on two defenseless white trendies by a group of six racist black thugs attacking them because they're white as they beg and plead. A very pathetic, very pathetic scene. Uh, both the black racist attack thugs that then rob their wallets uh, are disgusting, but so are the jellyfish uh, that, that have absolutely betrayed their forebearers and turned into defenseless uh, she-men.
In fact, a woman would fight back. My mother would fight back 10 times that. All the women I know fight like a, fight like a cross between a crocodile and a mule. He kicked like a mule and bit like a crocodile, to quote Johnny Cash. I mean, this is just amazing, but this is the new man. When you watch the video I just mentioned that's going up on Infowars.com and then the guys are going to do articles on it, it is the new man. You put up with abuse just like in England. You fight back against thugs attacking your house, coming in to rob you. You will be put in prison. They will be released and sue you if you so much as fight them physically back as they attack you. Because the ultimate sacrament in the coward state is that only the state has force and it's loving little street thugs. Okay, uh, let's continue here. Again, fans uh, rioted in Seattle, as you know. Uh, and everyone is very, very concerned with the fact that the uh, Broncos that everyone thought were going to win lost. I, 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 I went to one Super Bowl party and, and people were so depressed that it was a shutout. They didn't even care as long as it was a good game. That I, I mean, I watched about 30 minutes and left. And I said, it's clear they're going to lose. And uh, it didn't even matter to me. It's just that's what people are doing. So I, I, I went to one. First Super Bowl party I've been to. That's not true. Last year, I went with Shane Steiner to his Super Bowl party at the Steiner Steakhouse because that's fun and I like those people and like the steakhouse. I was invited out there. I probably should have gone out there last night, but I didn't want to drive way out there. Uh, but uh, long story short, I'm done basically talking uh, about that. We've got a big compilation of the, of the rioting and the burning and the attacking at Infowars.com in Paul Watson's article. And it's also a red linked uh, for the time being on drudgereport.com up at the right hand corner. So you can't can't miss that. Uh, let me give you let me give you some of the other news uh, that we have here in front of us. Uh, property rights bill introduced after Virginia woman threatened with fines for kids birthday party. Neighbors heard the two dozen or so children and adults playing in the backyard. If you go read the local news articles about it. And the neighbors said that they didn't like that. So the zoning inspector showed up and said they uh, thought it was an unauthorized gathering. Kind of like zoning inspectors are saying you can't have even backyard gardens now. Uh, or you can't bake your own uh, cookies and sell them at school or whatever. Uh, just total tyranny. Local officials, not servants, uh, who abuse zoning authority powers to uh, cower citizens into submission and deprive landowners of constitutional rights in the Enjoyment of their land must be subject to fines and actual damages they cause, including attorney's fees. Delegate Bob Marshall noted in support of his HB 1219 or 1219, recently introduced in the Virginia General Assembly. Marshall introduced his bill in a direct response to incidents precipitated uh, by county officials, not servants, who threatened Virginia uh, citizen farmer Martha Bonita. Uh, she gained national attention after she was cited and threatened with 5,000 per day fines for hosting such menacing activities as a birthday uh, for eight 10 year olds and some adults. It was less than two dozen. That was another event she was in trouble for. Without a permit and advertising pumpkin carvings, uh, Virginians rallied at two pitchfork protests in support of Bonita. Uh, now, folks, let's expand on this. This is everywhere. A um, week and a half ago, my parents have got a heated pool and a hot tub. And I went over there with the kids for dinner at least once a week. They love my parents. They went up and did some painting and playing get board games. And we had dinner at about six. And then we went out and got in the hot tub. And we got in their pool. And we were squirting each other with water guns that we were loading uh, with the cold water hose. Because it was cold out, but you know, all steaming in the pool and the hot tub. And my girls were shrieking and screaming like little girls do at a birthday party. And the police came and said, your neighbor thinks someone's being killed. And believe me, you could tell it was girls giggling and laughing in between chasing each other around with water guns. And so uh, that's the new America. And everybody I know gets the cops called now. Uh, people in apartments can like slam their finger in a door and go, oh man, oh, and cops come. Because neighbors watch TV and they want to feel fulfilled the minute they hear anything or see you putting a gun in your car to go to the shooting range, you're going to jail. Doesn't matter the gun's legal. Doesn't matter it was lawfully transported. The police act on that sacrament, that religious thing, and say, well, the, the neighbor felt threatened. You're going to prison. And that's in the news every day. We're going to come back, get into all the other news, give the number out, take your phone calls. But 
you know, you're not going to have a birthday party with eight kids in your backyard. Sorry, you're going to go to jail. $5,000 fines, period. We're on the march.